Today on Pots and Trials I'm going to be doing a bit of scrubbing in the garden which is brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Dalak. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials and it's another damp miserable day where we are in North Yorkshire but if it is wet with you don't worry because hopefully soon we're going to start getting some dry weather and let's all look forward to spring when we can get out and do some proper gardening but it's still nice to get out and have a little look because at this time of the year we can enjoy the evergreens and one thing that I particularly like is stem colours and this is my little winter bed just here it's a circular bed it's about 10 metres across it's got a mixture of some trees in there with white bark we've got the lovely dogwoods in various shades this one is midwinter fire I've got uh, Siberica which has got red stems uh, and Kessel Ringii with purple stems so it's a nice mixture in here there's going to be hellebores there's going to be snowdrops followed by daffodils and then in the summer we've got the evergreens and some summer flowering shrubs so it, it gives colour and interest all year round but particularly in the winter it's just a nice bright bit of the garden so I'm going to do something different today now very often I will use any excuse to get out of washing up in the house I've got to check my emails I've got to put a log on the fire I've just got to check the thermostat in the greenhouse but today I'm actually going to be outside with a bowl of washing up water and a scrubbing brush to do some cleaning so I'll show you what I'm going to do with the birch trees I've got this little copse of birch in here. Uh, these are all Betula jackmontii, which is a really lovely birch. I like all birch. I think birch is probably one of my favourite trees, along with Amelanchia. Uh, is another one of my favourites but I love them for their bark and you can get different barks pinkish barks brown peely barks but Jack Monte is probably one of the best for this lovely creamy white bark and they look lovely but at this time of the year when it's been so wet you can see we get this green algae growing on the bark and some of the bark is starting to peel off so I think it detracts from the overall impression. I want this to look nice and bright through the latter part of winter and into spring. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a makeover on the trees. So first thing is we can see on this one here, some of the bark is already starting to peel. It does that annually as the trunk gets bigger in girth and the, the old bark splits to reveal the new bark beneath. So very simply, I'm just going to peel off a little bit of this bark it, it's really therapeutic to do this it's the sort of thing that you can't help doing and it doesn't do any harm at all to the tree so any loose bark on there and don't worry if it's not going to come off we're not going to do anything to to peel it off or cut it off because that will eventually come off but for the process of this i'm just getting rid of the loose bark around there like that so that instantly looks better and we can see the natural color it's this lovely sort of creamy white colour underneath just get that little bit there so I've got the loose flaky bark off there up to there and then what I'm going to do is literally put that there for a moment I've got some water now this is just lukewarm water more for the benefit of my hands than the tree um, and it's just got a tiny little bit of a soft mild detergent in only literally a drop it just helps to remove uh, this green algae on there so using a brush uh, a hand brush a stiff one is good for where it's the barks um, a little rougher or where it's dried on more or you can use this as an old car washing brush I've got there and I'm literally just gonna start up here it's a bit of a messy job to do but it's, it will look so much better I hope you've got an image of what that looked like before I started giving it a scrub I remember doing this once for television for the BBC at the Bluebell Arboretum in Leicestershire and I thought it was a bit of a daft thing to do but only when we'd finished it did I think how much better the tree looked so it is worth it only takes a couple of minutes per tree I'm doing it really quickly just so you can get the effect of it go all the way around it of course I'm cheating I'm just doing the camera side for you so just give that a good scrub down and I think you'll agree that that instantly looks so much better and by the time I've done all of the trees in this little copse here with the dogwoods and when the when the snowdrops are through and everything bursts into life these birch will really 
shine when we do get some spring sunshine so if you're stuck for something to do and you've got a birch perfect excuses bucket of water scrubbing brush and off you go Well that's going to keep me busy for the next couple of hours scrubbing the birch trees and it'll certainly get me out of washing up for a while. We'll be back next week when hopefully if the weather's improved a little bit I'm going to be doing some preparation in the veg plot ready for sowing and planting. So we'll see you then. Bye! <laughs>